Hey, how's it going guys? This is Nicodemus and today I'm going to show you how to uh, put a custom, it's not a fully custom ROM, but a semi-custom ROM on your completely locked Motorola Photon 4G. Um, as you already know, obviously, if you have updated to the very latest update that Sprint gave, the over-the-air update that from Sprint for the Photon 4G, it puts you at Android version 2.3.5 and what that also did was lock the bootloader. It's permanently locked so um, I won't get into all the other BS that goes along with that but if you would like a ROM that is de-blurred meaning it's gotten rid of a lot of the Sprint bullcrap that comes with your uh, operating system, the stock operating system on this phone if you like to get rid of that, uh, also my favorite part about it is that you can pull down like this and you have quick toggles for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, GPS, and a couple others, um, which I absolutely love that. And I've, why is my phone locked? I should know better. Right. Well, I've got three photons in the house and I've been unlocked on all of them for ever. Uh, went ahead and locked the other two and then I decided to go ahead and lock this one just because I wanted to be able to show you this video and the other two are not mine so I'm only making videos with this phone and I, I could care less really at this point I've tried every ROM available for this and part of the problem with it with the Photon anyway is the fact that it doesn't have the Motorola did not release the drivers necessary for people to make a uh, I mean, there's some decent jelly bean and ice cream sandwich ROMs that were made for this. Uh, the devs did the best they could, but the hardware acceleration um, for graphics isn't there, and it just has issues. So I said, forget it. Anyway, so if you are stuck, locked, first you have to be rooted, and there is a link in the description for a video, a perfectly done video that will show you how to root your device. There's also a link in the description for the thread at the xdadevelopers.com forum uh, for rooting your device. And then after you root it, you also need to install the bootstrap recovery, which there's also a link in the description to show you how to do that. And once you've done that, then you need to go and download the actual ROM, which I'm going to show you now. So let me move this camera here and I'll show you what we're doing okay so you follow the link in the description and it will take you to this web page right here uh, it's a thread at xjadevelopers.com by MOF9336 who's done a lot of work with the Photon uh, we really appreciate this ROM I do uh, the notification toggles Wi-Fi GPS Bluetooth 3G on off and 4G on off it's a DO dext ROM if you don't know what that means it's easier for you basically to install themes um, and stuff like that. Is it faster? That's it's debatable whether it's faster or not, but it's easier to add things to. Root is included. It has an extended power menu with sleep and reboot options. Everything is working, and you just go down do 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 right here and pick which version you want to install. Version one is a, uh, has blur removed and it uses Launcher Pro as the stock launcher. Version 2, Launcher Pro is removed and there's a vanilla gingerbread launcher that he found. He themed it blue to match the photon color scheme and he deleted more blur and bloat. And I decided to go ahead and download version 2. So you click on version 2 and you download that and I've already got it. So then what we need to do is I'm going to plug in my Photon to the computer. So after you download it, you put it onto your Photon, which I've got it in my actual removable uh, SD storage. And then from there, we're going to, let me fix the camera here, and then I'll show you what to do. Okay, guys, we have the new ROM, the stock de-blurred, de-bloated, uh, de ROM put on the SD card. 
Now, you should have already gone through the steps in the description to root your phone and to put or to install the bootstrap recovery. Assuming that you've done that, um, you now need to make sure that your phone is plugged into a wall charger or this will not work. Your phone is plugged into a wall charger and then you go down to system recovery and you click on recovery mode. I don't know why, but it only works if your phone is plugged into a wall charger. And this will take, um, I think, about two minutes to boot up. So I'll speed up the video here. Okay, there we go. It is booted up into our bootstrap recovery. We have lots of different, um, we've applied SD card update zip. Apply SD internal update zip, which obviously you'd know your SD card is your actual SD card. Internal is the 8 gigabytes that's built in to the Photon. Wipe data, factory reset, wipe cache partition, install zip from SD card. Um, I'm going to start with install. Actually, no, we're going to start with a factory reset is what I'm going to do. You use the volume up and volume down to navigate this and the power button to select. Sorry, sometimes I forget that people may have never done any of this before and I have to make sure I tell you what to do there. Okay, that was extremely quick. That wasn't a full... Um, I mean, it wiped it. Basically, I think it, it was a very quick format of the data and the cache. Okay. So now we're going to go to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And then we have our MOF 2.3.5 slim dblur 4.5.1a-1 <laughs> zip file. Now, please make sure you've already got a locked photon. If you're unlocked, you don't want to install this or you will permanently lock your phone. Remember, this is just for people who are already permanently locked and would like to have a decent halfway aftermarket ROM on their Photon. So I'm going to install this and we'll see what happens. It shouldn't take very long. It took about two minutes and it showed that it wasn't very far uh, along in being done. And all of a sudden it was just bam, it was done. So install from SD card complete and we are done. So. We need to go back. I want to see what's in advanced first. Um, you can wipe the Dalvik cache from here, which I am actually going to do that. A lot of times that is a good idea. You can get some weird errors for by not wiping the Dalvik cache. And then we're going to go back and then do a normal reboot. And it's safe to go ahead and unplug the phone now. Okay, now for a minute there I thought I might have to go back in and do a factory reset. Uh, that did take about four minutes, I would say. So don't be alarmed, it takes a little bit um, before it will reboot the first time after you install this ROM. It's almost ready now, so I can show you what's changed. But yeah, it was. It was about four minutes or so before the animation started. And as you can see, this part even is taking a little bit now. But just be patient. Now, 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 now. I want it now. Oh my. Okay, just be patient, and it should come up soon. God. Oh. No. Okay, anybody got time for this? I will fast forward this and be back and we'll let you know what happened here. Ta-da! Goodness. So it sat on the Motorola screen for about four minutes and then it sat at the end of the Sprint <laughs> boot animation for about four minutes. So my goodness. Yeah, I agree. Whatever. 
Anyway, it's acting kind of slow right now. And this does completely restate your phone, as you see. I'll set up my account later. We don't have time for this. Let's go. People don't want to see a 20-minute video. Let's go. Yeah, whatever. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Oh, my God. use the launcher because I don't want to set anything else up. Okay. Now look at that up there at the very top. You have your toggles. Wi-Fi, Blue or I'm sorry, GPS, Bluetooth, um, 3G, 4G. I love having that Wi-Fi toggle right there and the GPS. I use both of those a lot. So anyway, and check our settings. We are 2.3.5. <laughs> the model number is Slim Photon. MOF 2.3.5 Slim version 2. And like I said, the kernel has stayed the same. So there you go. That is your Slim Deblurred Locked 2.3.5 ROM installed through bootstrap recovery on your Motorola 4 or on your Motorola Photon 4G. I will see you guys next time. If you have any comments, uh, let me know any videos you would like to see, suggestions for me, I would greatly appreciate it and I will try to respond as soon as I can. So thanks a lot guys. Goodbye.